front of the business, white male 30, 10. Sergeant T. Jenkins with the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department. I've been rolling with the crew now for almost 12 years. 130, blonde hair, and a gray outfit. I happened to get a call on a dangerous suspect that was fighting a bunch of people inside of a local restaurant. Got to be blonde hair and a gray outfit. I'm here. But what people don't know is that prior to me getting there, this guy had basically tore a McDonald's apart. As we were driving there, I'm, I'm assuming that he was inside of the business when, in fact, the crew spotted him walking away. So uh, if they wouldn't have been in the car, I probably would have missed that guy that day, and he could have went to another business and created more havoc. 12665, I'm going to be out with one. Uh, we're to the rear of the Westward Hall. Copy. Yeah, he's got a problem. He looks a little amped up. What's going on? I knew when I walked up to him, he called out a few racial slurs to me, and I knew then that he wasn't going to cooperate. Step to the car and take your hands out of your pockets. Take your hands out of your pockets and step up to my car. I asked him to take his hands out of his pocket, and he refused. That's the second time I've asked you. You're making me nervous. Take your hands out of your pockets and step up to my car. As you can tell, it's a split decision for us sometimes, and sometimes we have to use force. Take your hands out of your pockets oh. and Don't resist. Now put your hands behind your back, or you're going to get the taser. So it was one of those ask, tell, and then make. And that's what we got to. Uh, it got to the point where I had to make him take his hands out. He put himself in that predicament. And because of that, that's how we got to that, that conclusion. How much have you been drinking? Huh? About five beers. How old are you, man? 22. Where's your ID? In my wallet. Where the f do you think it is? How so the hell do you, you think you I can, am? You can chill out, or you can go to jail. It got me a little respect from the gangsters who I deal with now who think that, hey, you know, if they don't listen to what I'm saying, I'm going to do that maneuver that I did on this guy. So it's been good. It's been mostly good. It, it made me famous and infamous all at the same time. You realize how much impact the show has and how many people it reaches.